Hey guys, uh, I'm one of the developers of Warp Factor, and I'm going to do a quick uh, playthrough stream here. Um, there's a little bit of story in this game, but it's not too important. Uh, you have entered the Altera system in search of an ancient precursor artifact uh, that can be used to prevent your home system from going supernova, and you've only got 1,000 days. Uh, you look up here in the top right, you see we're on day zero out of 1,000. Um, so let's go. Okay, um, first thing to note here is, oops, we just got a subspace communication. Um, Xenopaleontologists have decrypted an intriguing precursor digicodex. By reversing the polarity, an Orbitron device can be used to induce rather than prevent a supernova event. Records show that shortly after this capability was discovered, the Precursor Council issued an edict ordering all Orbitron devices to be destroyed. Alright, uh, so you'll notice one thing different about uh, Warp Vector from most other roguelikes is when I use the arrows here to move, I'm not actually moving my ship, my at, I'm moving this cursor, which indicates um, where I'm going to end up next turn. So this little, z this little arrow here is which direction I'm pointing. The zero is where I'm going to go if I do nothing. And this X is how much I can change my tra trajectory. And if you look over here, you can see it says maneuver uh, minus three per delta, which means it's going to cost me three energy uh, to change my momentum by one here. And I've currently got nine out of 10 energy, and I'm getting two energy per turn, uh, which means you actually can't maneuver every single turn. And if I look south here, I can see there's a pirate sloop that's inbound. I can see his um, momentum and trajectory as well. Uh, he's a little bit wimpier than my ship, um, but not significantly. So every enemy in this game is a threat. Um, there's no sort of uh, chump enemy. But I think I can take this guy, um, and his navigation's not that good, so if I fight him right along the side of the star, uh, I might actually kill him that way. So I'm gonna head here. Okay, he is turning to avoid colliding with the star. Um, but actually, the interesting thing here, so you can see he is uh, bound towards the star, and he's got nine nine energy so the ion cannon here reduces energy by four um so i probably can't hit him enough to actually send him into the star plus it'll absorb shields for us but um i'm gonna go ahead and take a shot at him with my ion cannon so the ion cannon selected here i can see uh, i got a 62 percent chance to hit um all right so let's give it a shot gotta hit him uh, so now you see he's lost all his shields and his energy went down a little bit. And I've also got a laser cannon mounted in my forward arc, so I'm going to shoot at him with that as well. Got him. Alright, so this fight should be no problem at this point. And he missed me. Got him. So his ship is destroyed, uh, and he is now this wreck. Um, uh, unfortunately, um, he still got his momentum, so he's going to keep flying this direction. So if I want to loot the ship, I'll have to uh, catch up with him, which is going to be pretty hard, because he's going the exact opposite direction as me. Um, I'm going to use the comm link here to try to um, make radio contact with the destroyed ship. Alright, the sloop is unmanned. Your comms officer is able to hastily download two bit credits from the ship's computer before the automated safety protocols air cap the system. More loot remains on board the sloop, but you'll have to board it to get access. Alright, so I just gained two bit credits I can see up there. Uh, I don't think I can catch this sloop. Uh, or if I do, it'll take a ton of energy, so I'm actually not going to try to board it and get the rest of the loot. Uh, I'm going to see what else is... Um, should I try to get on board? Hmm. Um... Yeah, why, why, why not? I'll, I'll try to board this sloop just to show how it works. So I, first of all, I have to spend a lot of energy just to turn all the way around. All right. And I'm gonna need to move over three. So 
So I'm accelerating now. Okay. It's going straight up and down, so. I am gaining on it. And I'm right on top of it, uh, but now I have to match my momentum to it because I'm going slightly faster, but I'm on the exact same trajectory. So if I slow down uh, one click, um, uh, you lock onto the de destroyed pirate sloop and slice open its hull with your boarding tubes. Your crew scours the ship, manages to download three bit credits from the central computer. Most of the ship's systems and weapons were badly damaged in combat, but you are able to salvage a laser cannon. Um, so picking up this laser cannon will slow us down a little bit because it's got some mass. So I'm going to uh, stow it in the cargo hold. Uh, so you can see my maneuver cost went down to four. Um, but that shouldn't be too bad. Now I have to turn it all the way around again. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, now it's gonna take me a while to get back to the system. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of other things I can do in this system now that I've destroyed and looted that ship. There's a space station I can dock at. Um, there's a couple of these anomalies, and there are two planets to, to land on. Uh, so I'm gonna come down and first try to do a landing on that planet. Okay, I took two damage from trying to do that landing. Uh, you almost always take damage when you land, so it's good to have your shields up before you try a planetary landing. That's just because of, you know, heat dissipating in the atmosphere, things like that. Okay, your landing party finds a number of fascinating glyphs and diagrams inscribed in the wall of a precursor temple. Your tech specialist recognizes the diagrams as a star map and is able to determine the hyperspace coordinates of the Kappa Pegasi system. Awesome. Uh, new coordinates. Uh, and let me just show you here. Here's the galaxy map. I'm in Alteris. Uh, I can see I've got still some unexplored stuff in this station. And I found coordinates for Kappa Pegasi. So uh, I will be able to jump to this planet uh, once I'm done exploring this system. Uh, and all these other ones, the coordinates are still unknown. Uh, and generally, the further you get from uh, the further you get from the starting system here, the more dangerous. Uh, these systems become and the different star types you encounter. Uh, so you can see here's some um, red giants and here these these blank spots are probably black holes or some other type of strange stellar body. Uh, okay I'm gonna go grab this anomaly. As your ship approaches the anomaly, you feel for a brief moment as if you turn upside down. Your navigator reports you are now in the NGC 3423 star system. The navigator has added the hyperspace coordinates of this system to your, her system log. Okay, that's actually bad news because I didn't get a chance to refit at that station, which I wanted to. Um, but you can see I have now jumped to this one. So I have coordinates for three systems now. And this is a hostile system here. Looks like I got a frigate and a sloop. Oh, and another sloop. Okay, fortunately, uh, these guys are all... Hmm. This will be a tough fight, um, and I wish I mounted that laser cannon that I looted, because right now it's just sitting in my cargo hold, taking up mass. I also didn't get any ship upgrades. This fight wouldn't be too bad if I'd stopped at that station, but right now it actually looks pretty rough. Um... The good news though is I am behind this guy, he's facing the other way and the other two guys are kind of far, so I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I have that guy in my forward firing arc. Ion cannon, got him. Laser cannon, got him again, let's take a look. All right, nice. He's got no shields and five hull. So, and I actually might be able to so next turn he's going to be there, 
and I'm gonna be up two spaces, so I think I'll be able to double arc him next turn, actually. So I think I oh, the only problem is I'm I'm only have four energy next turn, so. successfully turned around. Let's see. Uh, he does have enough energy just to hit me. Um, it's only going to take two laser shots to take this guy out. Damn, missed once. Oh, damn it. Alright. Yeah, the frigate's a little tougher than the sloop. It's got an ion cannon. Um, I've only got one energy left. Hopefully, okay, it's not much I can do here other than just move forward. Damn it, I got hit with the ion again. All right, well definitely, the good news is now he's really low on energy, but you can say I'm actually negative, so there's actually nothing I can do here but keep moving forward. And I don't have an aft weapon. That's unfortunate. Um, I definitely don't want to take any time to maneuver. If I can do three shots on the sloop. I could take him out, but he's gonna be in my in my aft hull zone before. Oh, oh the good news is this guy's about to collide with the star here. He went off course. Um I could just speed up and try to go for that anomaly. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this sloop with an ion cannon. Oh no, the ion's only in the forward arc. I don't have. Okay. I am just gonna shoot at him. Okay, I took down his shields. Ouch! It looks like I'm probably gonna lose this game here because I only got two hull left and very little energy. I cannot take out that sloop. But... Alright, I just have to cross my fingers. Oh, no, they got me. Alright, well, that's an example of a game that didn't go too well for me. Yeah, you know what, I probably could have turned everything around here if I had stopped at that station before testing out the anomaly. Because uh, definitely some anomalies can warp you to other systems. So if I stopped at that station and refitted, things would have worked out better. I'm going to try one more. I'm going to try one more run here. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a friendly, a friendly ship here, a merchant sloop, and there is a pirate sloop as well. Um, there is no station here. I am going to, I believe, uh, because the the corona here will probably interfere with his navigation, he's actually likely to collide with that star, especially if I go straight east towards those anomalies, that's what I'm going to do. Oh no, he might collide with that planet though. Just search with power. Oh, this is actually not good. My energy is 20 out of 10 here, which means I'm gonna start having a reactor meltdown um, unless I burn off energy as much as possible. And there's nobody I can shoot at, so the best thing I can do is try to maneuver every single turn to burn energy. Okay. Okay, I got 
new star coordinates. Um, there's a lot of merchants here. There's a station. Um, I don't. I don't see any other anomalies here, though. Alright, I'm gonna land on the planet, and I'm gonna land on this other planet, check out what's on there, and then visit the station. Okay, and I got coordinates for another system, all right. Uh, now I'm gonna dock at that station. Okay, um, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna buy, um, I'm gonna repair my, sh my hull. see where I can go here. I'm in this system, nothing unexplored here, and I got, I got coordinates for this guy, and this is the original system I was on. Um, I think I'll keep pressing forward here, go to this new one. Okay, looks like there's a lot of anomalies here, that's good. Uh, two frigates, okay, I do have a little bit of upgrades here, so let me try to take these guys out. And I am behind this guy. Um, and he's headed towards that star. He's trying to turn around. If I can hit him with the ion cannon, I can probably. Damn it. How much energy does he have? He's left four energy. He's got four energy. If I can make this ion, oh, he's still got the shields up though. All right, so normally I try to do ion and then, normally I try to do ion cannons, then laser cannons, take away the shields to hit the hull. But here I actually want to use my lasers, take away the shield, so the ion cannons take away his energy so he can't maneuver and he hits that star. So I'm gonna do lasers first, got him. And then I'm gonna do ion. Got him. So now he's got only one energy left, and he looks like he's probably going to hit that. Yeah, and he could try to maneuver, but it looks like next turn he's going to get hit by the corona, get ionized, and then he'll be, he'll be in trouble. Ouch, so I'm taking some... My shields are still up, uh, but this guy, he's negative energy because the, the corona is ionizing him, so there's basically nothing he can do. Uh, he's doomed. And this guy, I'm going to hit with ions first. Miss. I'm just do a laser shot on him. Got him. Alright, yeah, that guy's uh, disintegrated. Uh, this guy's on my port side, so I have to do a laser attack. I'm gonna scoop up this other anomaly while that guy tries to turn around. Hopefully he starts to turn left and maybe I can... Okay, the ship is violently falling off course as it screens through an anomalous zone of non-Euclidean geometry. Okay. Um, that gave me a lot of momentum, but not necessarily the direction I want to go. Okay, my 
just gonna go head on towards this guy and just try to blast him, basically. shot on this guy. Well, okay, jeez. Uh, I'm gonna try to scoop up that an anomaly over there. Hopefully it's something that can help me against this guy. Gosh, I missed it. Shoot. Alright, I just got ionized by that. and three energy. Um, so I can hit with the ion cannon this turn means he can't hit me. And then if I get one more shot, I think I got this guy. Got him. Okay, now what I want to try to do is I want to try to loot this ship. See what I can get. He's not moving very quickly. charge in every turn. Okay. I'm going to limp towards this planet. Okay. And stop. Alright. Oh, there's a precursor artifact on Beta Andromeda 1. Okay, artifacts are pretty good. Um, Alright. Where's Beta Andromeda 1? Uh, it's nothing that I've seen so far. I just gotta remember that. Beta Andromeda 1. get to this one. I missed it. Gosh. Oh, wait, no, I will be able to get that next turn. Okay. Okay. I got transported here. Okay, the good news is there's a station. And we're... Oh, this is a little bit of a bug here. Yeah, this is the... Um the highlight from the ship in the other system. So I'll have to, actually I think we have a ticket for that on Spurious Highlighting. Um, that sucks, 
but yeah, so that, that's just a bug. Uh, that's an artifact that shouldn't be there. Uh, what's this? This is embedded in front of it. Alright, I'm gonna dock at this station as soon as possible. And I uh, definitely want to repair. Uh, 10 bit credits. I want to get another upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna do a capacitor upgrade. Laser cannon. Um, see, here's some stuff I could buy if I wanted to. Um, I'm probably just gonna put this in the forward hull zone. Mm, I'm gonna put this on the, one of the sides. All right, interior, because this is something that's already in my cargo, so refitting will cost zero credits. Okay, great. All right. Um, okay, I'm gonna check out this Metropolis planet, see what's up. Another precursor artifact, GD405. There's a Rick Meyer Penrose condensate. Gravity waves rock your ship violently as the anomaly begins collapsing to a black hole. Set thrusters to maximum. Okay, that means this whole star system is doomed. Um, all right, so let me think. Is there anything I can do here? Uh, this I gotta get out of this immediate vicinity fast. Um, let's see if I can grab that anomaly before it collapses. Okay, here I can see. Actually, we're not gonna be able to see that whole system get swallowed up. The black hole is starting to form, they're right behind me. Um, and I guess I got out of there in time. Well, anyway, I'm in NGC 9350. That's not one of the ones where there was an artifact. Um, and there's no enemies here either. Alright, I'm just gonna go uh, try to fly around the north side of the system here and grab these anomalies. Shoot, I missed that one. Another one. Oh, is this the same system? Is it possible to warp? It's possible to warp into the same system twice, is that true? And I'm all the way over here. I think these just have similar names. Okay. Yeah, these are both. These are blue giants with similar names, but they know the different systems. Grab some more of these anomalies. Okay, I got ionized. Okay, I'm 
already kind of slow, so I'm going to try to dock at this planet. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. An unearthly howl soon heard echoing all around you. The, your xenobiologist quickly identifies as the cry of the fearsome kaiju gorgon which is likely to devour your unfortunate surveyor these um these uh predator names are all random they can be kind of funny sometimes um let's see i've got 16 crew uh yeah well we'll never leave a shipmate behind let's crack open the weapons locker and hunt it down um uh-oh yeah we killed it but lost two crew members oh well Side course for these anomalies here. Oh, a warp one. These are warping me all the time. Okay. What do we got? A pirate station. Ouch. These guys have a lot of range. Um, so I'm actually going to want to avoid that and. And yeah, I just do not have the firepower to take that guy out. So yeah, I'm trying to avoid that. Just scoop up this anomaly and then and then warp out of here. Yeah, okay, he's got a very long range weapon. Okay, but I'm out outside of range of that siege, siege laser. Oh, I thought I was out of range. Damn, he got me. Oh well. Uh, yeah, there's an example of uh, warp vector. Uh, it's our roguelike. It's out on Steam. It's still in a kind of early state, so we're making still making a lot of updates pretty regularly. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we got. Hope you enjoyed it.